Janet Yellen was the Fed chairman. Now she's the Secretary of the Treasury under Joe Biden. Shortly before taking office this year, she proposed taxing unrealized capital gains as income. So if you own something that's become more valuable over time, including your house, Janet Yellen believes you should be taxed on the rise in value. She said that again this week on Capitol Hill when she proposed taxing the unrealized gains of inherited assets. Again, that would include real estate. What would that mean? That would mean millions of Americans would owe taxes. They'd be forced to pay money they don't have. Do you support eliminating stepped-up basis for state beneficiaries? And if you do, why? I do support eliminating stepped-up basis. The um, reason is that a very large share of the income of wealthy individuals is simply never taxed. Um, individuals hold on to these assets during their lifetime. Uh, that income is never taxed. And we know that for some of the wealthiest individuals um, in the country, they pay very low taxes overall because um, most of their income takes the form of unrealized capital gains. To be clear, Janet Yellen is one of the wealthiest Americans. She made millions and millions and millions in payoffs from the banks after leaving the Federal Reserve. Okay, so there's that. But what she's really saying is that any asset you own, again, including your house, you've had your house for 30 years, real estate prices go up, partly because of speculation by big real estate holding companies, and all of a sudden, the increase in value in your house means you have to pay tax to the federal government money that you don't have. This would bankrupt a lot of people who are not rich. By the way, Yellen also conceded that Democrats could raise the debt ceiling right now without the support of Republicans. Senator Schumer was a Democrat and, right. my, and my friend controls the Senate floor. And he can raise the debt ceiling by just amending the budget resolution, can he? It's possible that that could be done. Yes, ma'am. So why doesn't he do it? Why don't y'all do it? Because, and then this, we is, don't, let me because this is... Let me just finish. Why don't y'all just do it and we don't have this fight? That was Senator John Kennedy from Louisiana. He was, of course, at that hearing. He joins us tonight. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. So first to uh, Secretary Yellen's suggestion that we tax the increase in value in assets that people own. And I think for average people, literally average people, this means real estate. So what would that mean for people who make 300 grand a year but whose house has doubled in value? That's a lot of people. Where would they be if this became law? Tucker, it's really pretty extraordinary. Um, for the first time in the history of, of ever, President Biden and Secretary Yellen want to tax unrealized gains on inherited property. And let me explain what that means. Let's suppose you've got a young widow with three children. She never remarries. She goes and buys a $150,000 home to raise her kids, and she raises her kids in the home. She's not rich. She works, but her main asset, her only asset, is her home. Uh, Fifty years later, she dies. Uh, as a result of inflation and, and appreciation over 50 years, her $150,000 home is now worth $1.75 million. She leaves her home to her kids. Under current law, her kids would not have to pay any income tax on that home if they didn't sell the property. They wouldn't have to pay any uh, inheritance tax either, but that's a separate issue. But under the biden Yevon rule, uh, those kids would automatically be taxed on the full value of the home, whether they sold it or not. Now, it's a little more complex than that, but the point is, uh, th those kids are not going to have the money to pay the taxes, so they're going to be forced to, to do a fire sale on the home that their mom worked for just to pay the taxes. And this, this 
the United States has never done this. Never. This is going to affect millions and millions of middle class Americans. It's going to maul the real estate market and the market for other long term assets. And I guess the moral of the story is this is what happens. This is what happens when you have a president and a treasury secretary who are on a mission from God to please pink haired wokers who carry around Ziploc bags of kale. This is what happens when you have a president and a secretary who want to tax, spend, and regulate America into neo-socialism. Well, especially since we're not funding the government with tax revenue anyway, because thanks to Janet Yellen, we've been funding the whole thing with fake money printed by the Federal Reserve. So why tax anybody anything at this point? The whole thing is punitive, honestly, as you know. Anyway, Senator Kennedy, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank you.